Hello, everybody, and welcome into the third episode of Keep Your Own 411 Online, where we sit down with developers, creators, and team members from all over the Roblox theme park community. I'm your host, Disney Diamond 15, and I'm here with Marilox, creator of Fright Sandy Screen Park. As you all know, today is Halloween, and happy Halloween to all of you guys. Um, if you do not know, Fright Sandy Screen Park uh, is a brand new Roblox park, which opened up just under a month ago on October 5th. Fright Sanity focuses on giving their guests great quality scare zones and mazes, as well as terrifying jump scares and a great experience at the same time. Let's head over to Dr. Marilox to get to know uh, uh, their new park a little better um, and to see what exactly they have planned for the future. So, Marilox, thank you uh, for coming on the show. Hi. Today. Hey. Great to be here. Okay, so to jump into it, um, a lot of the people in the Roblox theme park community may not exactly know what a screen park is. So, uh, could you sort of uh, explain to everybody what uh, that is? A screen park is kind of like a theme park, but instead of a sort of a focus on um, roller coasters and things like that, um, the main focus is on haunted houses that you walk through, um, scare zones. Um, things like that, um, as well as, like, shows, some of them have shows as well, um, some do, some don't, um, mm -hmm. it varies from park to park. Yeah, uh, it's definitely a cool concept for all the people out there who love scare zones, mazes, and horror in general. Yeah. Um, so, at your guys' park, uh, who exactly, uh, develops all the attractions? So, I'm the one who mostly comes up with, like, the ideas for the mazes, um, the themes. Um, I also built most of the attractions as well. The only attraction which I didn't build was um, Murderous Minds. Um, this was actually built by our scripter, um, Shooks. I think that's how his name's pronounced. Um, and... The concept for Murderous Minds as well um, actually came from an old park he used to run called Chills Fright Park. Um, although he scrapped this concept early on when he was developing Chills, um, he replaced it with something completely different. And while we were working on the themes and concepts for the mazes for Fright Sanity, um, we kind of spoke about this old scrapped concept um, and we decided to bring it back. Um, we kind of changed the story up quite a bit um, along the way. Um, and the story is you're like going into these mines, um, but you end up taking a wrong turn and then you're in this like sort of hellish underworld of sorts. Which is, uh, it's a really cool concept. Uh, I've been through it twice already, and I'd definitely recommend it uh, for everybody yeah. to check out. It's actually supposed to be a multi-route maze, so at the part where you go down, like, the sign where it says fear, um, mm -hmm. there is actually supposed to be two different routes at that point. Um, oh, okay. Although we were only able to get one of the routes finished in time for opening. Um when that maze opens with the park back on October the 5th. Um, gotcha. We will hopefully have it in the future. Um, For sure. Yeah. Um, so, Fright Sandy Screen Park um, is one of a lot of, of uh, attractions on Roblox uh, for the horror community. Um, where exactly did you guys first get your inspiration for the park so there were a lot of different um places where we got inspiration um for fright sanity um i would say some of the biggest sort of inspirations um were um chills fright park um hour of terror um nightmare manor and um as well as universal's halloween horror night um all of those were kind of like the inspiration and I thought you know what I thought I could probably make something like this as well so 
I, I just kind of made the decision to work on Fright Sanity. I think the earliest sort of ideas we had for it were from around November last year, although it was only around oh, cool. March this year that things kind of really went into development. Um, that was when Shooks decided he'd help with the scripting side of things and I would do all the building and everything. Um, and from there we just sort of worked on what kind of attractions we would have, um, kind of what the park would look like, what it would feel like, um, and things like that. We wanted to make sure it was... We wanted to create something unique and original. Um, we didn't want to copy, like, other parks or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so as we were just talking about some of the other horror events, uh, like Halloween Horror Nights are at Universal Roblox and Andy's Haunted Houses and Nightmare Manor. Um, what makes Fright San uh, What makes Fright Sanity stand out from uh, all of those other horror slash scream parks and Halloween themed events on Roblox? I would say um, what makes us different and unique from all the other haunts on Roblox is the lineup that we have, because. Um, we have a mix of like both original attractions as well as a handful of um, IP based attractions. Um, our overall sort of build style as well I would say is kind of unique from other parks. Um, sure. As well as like the atmosphere of the park as a whole. Because um, I would say a lot of parks and haunts have their own unique sort of feel to them like with Nightmare Manor for example um, that really feels like sort of your very traditional haunted house attraction and yeah. Fright Sanity it has its own feel to it I would say yeah for sure I would definitely uh, agree with that and another thing that definitely makes you guys unique is the VR aspect to your park. Uh, if you guys yes. don't know, uh, Fright Sandy Screen Park sort of has a VR option. Uh, could you sort of explain that uh, a little bit to everybody? Yeah, so Roblox, um, not just Fright Sanity, but Roblox as a whole. Um, if you have certain VR headsets, such as, I believe, Oculus or HTC, um, I think Samsung works as well, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but select VR headsets are actually compatible with Roblox. Awesome. Um, not many games on Roblox um, really utilize VR in their games. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very rare that you see any games which are sort of exclusively tailored for VR as well. Um, yeah, but I'd definitely say a virtual reality um, headset uh, it would definitely be uh, something that would benefit uh, your, your guys' uh, park uh, in general with the uh, mazes and scare zones and whatnot. Yeah, all of the attractions, um, they're made so that they can be played without the need for a VR headset um, in, like, normal flat screen mode. Mm -hmm. Um... But in terms of like the scaling and everything, it's also taken VR into account. Um, so yeah, if you sure. happen to have a VR headset, um, and if you're feeling brave enough, you can experience all of the mazes as well as the rides in VR. Although I'm not sure how good the rides would be in VR. Mm -hmm. um, you might get a little bit motion sick, um, <laughs> especially on Fright Manor. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, the mazes are terrifying enough in like flat screen, but VR, I I've yeah, not tried yeah. VR myself, mostly because I don't have a VR headset myself, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, but I should get one soon, hopefully. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I don't own a VR headset either, but I have heard a lot about the Oculus. I know a couple people... Or I know one person who has an Oculus headset. 
it's definitely a really, really cool experience. So if you guys do have a VR headset, I would definitely go and check out Fright Sanity Screen. Yeah, and if any YouTubers um, out there who have a VR headset, um, if they, if you ever make a video um, in VR or anything like that, um, be sure to like tag us because I would love to see some YouTubers try out VR. Oh in yeah, Fright uh, it would definitely be interesting to see their reactions. Yeah, I, I haven't really seen that many YouTubers actually go into you know. Uh, reacting to Roblox games in VR, so I, I definitely think, you know, with you guys having the mazes with the jump scares and all that, it's definitely a really, really cool idea for some uh, some YouTubers to adapt into their videos. Yeah, I can imagine their reactions would probably be pretty hilarious. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, as we were just talking about a little bit, uh, Fright Manor is one of your guys' uh, most popular attractions, I would say. Um, and it's sort of like a dark ride haunted house um attraction which i think is a really really cool idea uh to put into your guys park uh could you talk a little bit more about uh fright manor yeah so fright manor um originally the idea we had for it is kind of like a sort of ghost train sort of style attraction um at first we weren't really sure what kind of theme we were going to go with um, so we just kind of threw a, a whole bunch of themes into one ride, really. Yeah, um, I know, I know, we kind uh, of took sort of segments, um, from some of our haunted houses and kind of combined them into one whole dark ride. Um, yeah, like for me like personally, like a mana facade. For me like, personally, like, I, I think my favorite part of it was sort of the aspect where you guys had sort of this, like, uh, sort of like hospital, like or uh, asylum type area in there, which I thought was really really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Um, so, um, as I know, you guys are in talks to maybe keep the park uh, going year round, right? Yep. Um, I think for the time being, at least. Um, We'll probably keep the park open year round, um, as I don't think there's many, um, as far as I'm aware, there's not really any year round green parks or year round haunts on Roblox. Um, the only one I can really think of, um, are Grotty's Horror Houses, um, which isn't free, um, by the way, it's like 10 Robux per house gotcha um yeah um so like what exactly would you say makes a year-round horror or scream park like great for um uh people who are into like scare scare zones and mazes and whatnot well i'd say it's like something good for people to sort of check out year-round if they want to visit like something like that or anything, um, they could, they could, um, they could kind of, like, get their fix. Um. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Um, so with that, um, I would like to thank, uh, Fright Sandy Screen Park in general, as well as Marilox for coming on the show, who talked to us a little bit about, um, Fright Sandy Screen Park. If you guys haven't already checked it out, I'd definitely go and check it out. They have a lot of cool mazes uh, with all the Halloween events this year. Um, I would definitely go check this one out. Um, and with that, um, if you guys want to stay up to date with Fright Sanity Screen Park and everything that they will have to offer in the future, you can go and join their Discord, follow them on Twitter, join their Roblox group, and visit the game, which will be linked down below. If you guys want to uh, follow my socials or the TPR Informer Discord server, that will also be in the description, as well as all the TPR Informer merchandise. Also, be sure today only we have the limited edition Halloween TPR Informer shirt, as well as the limited edition Halloween Horror Nights Roblox TPR Informer shirt, which is 
ending soon, uh, just in a couple of days once Halloween Horror Nights ends, so be sure to grab those. Uh, and with that, I would like to once again thank Marilox for coming on the show, and I hope you all have an amazing day.